Which of the following is true for an NPN BJT operating in the forward active region? We've been asked a question like this previously and now we're just going to be going over another one. So we know we have our NPN in the forward bias here. We are forward and reverse biased. On the left we have our injected electrons and we're going to the right. We're going to pass the base which is where we diffuse the electrons and then on the right we're going to go to the collected electrons. So we have from the base injected holes and then we're going to be recombining our electrons from the middle part we can see here. That's where our I base is, and then we have our I E, and also our I C to the right. So current is going to flow out of our emitter, which is the I E, and then it's going to go through all of this at the bottom, back to the base, and also to the right where we go into our collector. So we have some notes here. Electrons are injected from the emitter into the base. We can see that's true. So our injected, um, the electrons, we have on the right or on the left sorry right here injected electrons underneath the end they are injected from the emitter to the p part which is the base they then diffuse which is the diffusing electrons part across the base and go into the collector the base current consists of holes injected we can see that we have our injected holes uh, from the base to the emitter we can see that's where the air is going and electrons that recombine in the base so when we look at these let's see what we get first we have the collector current consists primarily of electrons. So let's first look at our collector current. It consists primarily of electrons injected from the collector into the base. Well, this is not true, right? Because the electrons are not injected from the collector to the base. They're injected from the um, up here, over here, which is the emitter. The left side is the emitter. The middle part is the base, and then the right side is the collector. So we have emitter to the base to the collector. So when it says the collector consists current consists primarily of electrons injected from the collector into the base, it's not true. It's going the wrong way, so this is false. Next we have none of these, so this can be an option, but we'll come back to this later. For now, we'll just do a little cross right here. The base current consists primarily of electrons injected from the emitter into the base. So when we look at our base current, we see it con we're asked consists primarily of electrons injected from the emitter. So electrons injected from the emitter. Well, we can see that our electrons the, is recombined. So E equals recombine, right? They're recombining the electrons into the base. So electrons are not injected from the emitter. So this is wrong. Next we have D. D is the current, the emitter current consists primarily of electrons injected from the emitter into the base. Well, if we again look at the um, emitter current, so the IE right here, we have electrons injected from emitter to the base. Well, this is going to be true, right? Because we go from our E, which is the emitter, and then we go from the um, emitter to our base, right? And that's what it's asking us. Electrons injected from the emitter into base. So this one is going to be true as well. And that's going to be our only answer because it's obviously not going to be none of these. Well, let's get, cover this last one. Some base current flows to replace electrons which are lost as holes diffusing across the base region or recombine. So if we're looking at recombine, we know we have to look at electrons for this. So when it says some base current flows, so that's going to be our IB to replace electrons, which are lost as holes. It's not going to be true because the electrons are going to be recombined here. And it's just noting the diffusing across the base recombine. So diffusing across the base recombine, we know that's true. The electrons recombine with the base. But when it says some base current flows to replace electrons, which are lost as holes, is not true because our holes are being injected. And that is going to be, or they're not going to be injected. They're injected into the emitter side, but that's not how that would work. So that's not going to be true as well, and so D is going to be our answer.